So if you're like me and you spin up a new project every weekend and never finish it, I wanted to show you a new CLI tool called Better T-Stack, which can help you create and scaffold up a new project. Now, I'm sure we've all seen tons of different CLI tools that basically achieve the same thing, right? You run a command, it lets you pick some options, and then you can spin up a project. This one's a little bit different because it has a really nice like UI interface that helps you build up your CLI command. Uh, this is something I haven't seen before on these like little CLI scaffold toolkits. So let's check this out. If you go to this builder over here, you can actually select through the various tooling that you may or may not want to use on your project. Let me move this over here so my head is not blocking it. All right, so this is the builder. This is a user interface you can use to help create the CLI tool command that scaffolds up your project. Maybe this is a little bit redundant, but I thought it was pretty nice. I haven't seen this before on a, a, a scaffolding project. And so if you wanted to start a new project in Next.js or Nuxt or Tanstack Start, which is what I'd probably use, you can select your web framework. You can go ahead and change the name. So I'm going to say my uh, new abandoned project, probably a good fitting name for anything I create. And we're going to kind of scroll through some of the options here, right? You can have a native front end. So like if you wanted to do Expo, you can kind of scaffold it up with that. We just want a web app. So we're going to say no native front end. Now scrolling down to the back end section, they have a couple of options that you can pick here. We have Hano, we have Express, we got Convex. Shout out to Convex. This is a service I use all the time in all my projects. Or if you just want to use the built-in tan stack start server functions, maybe you can just pick no backend. So that is something you can do. It looks like runtime is only available when you pick a backend. Um, I'm actually curious why all these things are kind of grayed out. I would assume that tan stack start can hook up to a backend in like a database. Uh, so maybe that's something they need to figure out there. But I guess we'll just pick Hano just to kind of demo this. Um, you can choose what runtime you want to use for it. So like, for example, your backend could run in bun. For your API, you can use TRPC or ORPC. I'm, I'll probably say no API because we just want to use a traditional REST approach. For database, you can pick something like SQLite or Postgres. Let's try SQLite and see how this kind of works. Drizzle is the ORM I always use, so I'll pick that one. And then you can pick where you want your database to be deployed to. I wonder if Docker will show up if I pick Postgres. Yeah, so Docker shows up with Postgres. Maybe I'll actually do that one because I, I typically do Postgres on my side projects that aren't using Convex. Um, web deploy, you can pick Cloudflare workers. I'll do better auth for the authentication, package manager, bun, whatever, turbo repo for the add-on. If you plan to do a mono repo, you can pick turbo repo for that. They also have like Husky and other things that might be important for your project. And yeah, let's just go ahead and copy this whole command and try to see how it works for spinning up a new project. And hopefully it works. All right, let's run this command and you'll see that it basically is going to create a new project called my new abandoned project. And it has all the options. Now, you don't have to use that user interface that I showed you to kind of create this. You could just add the flags as you want. But let's just run this and see what kind of happens. All right, the project has been created. Let's just go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see that Turbo Repo is now running. We have the server and the web API running. I can kind of switch between these by saying up and down. So this is pretty cool. You actually see all of your tasks running on the left. And then on the right, you have an interactive terminal that you can use to kind of play with it. I'm not sure what library this is using, but uh, I've never seen this before. I'm kind of impressed with this. I'm guessing it's a, just a, a third party, like a Tmux type of thing. Or maybe it's a custom terminal. I'm not really sure. So now this is running. We go to the left and we have our apps. So I'm guessing server is the Hono app. Um, yeah, it looks like this is the Hono app. And it's already connected to a database. It looks like Drizzle's already set up. And we have the web directory, which will be our tan stack start, which has a couple of routes. And hopefully they're all connected. Let's actually load this up and see if the thing is working. Now, in terms of the database, I guess I'm curious where that got put. Okay, so there is a Docker Compose file here. I'm not sure if that gets spun up when I start the app or not. Uh, I guess we could kind of open up the app and see. All right, so can we sign in? Does better auth work? All right, we have an error message down here that does not display anything, so that could probably use a little bit of work. Yeah, I'm going to assume that the Docker database did not get generated, and nor did the migration scripts get ran. I don't know if that's something we should probably have automatically run when you start your project. But since we have a turbo repo, I could just say npm run db start, and I think that's going to run my Docker image. Okay, so now the Docker container is pulling Postgres and spinning that up. And then eventually I'm going to have to run my migration scripts because I'm assuming there are a set of migration scripts somewhere in here. Maybe not. Maybe there's no migration scripts yet. Let's look at the schema. There should be, because this is using better auth, so there should be a migration script. Okay, so now my 
database is running. You can see here my new abandoned project database is running. And then I should be able to run a npm run db migrate. And let's see if that actually applies the better auth related migration. So yeah, there is no journal file. So maybe I have to do a generate first. Let's do a db generate. And then it created the migration script. And then let's do a migrate. And that's been applied. I should be able to restart my app and click sign up. Okay, now we are successfully signed in. And we have a really basic application that doesn't really do anything, but we are authenticated, which is pretty nice. You can see over here on the right, we are logged in as this username. I can sign out. All right, so that is basically better T stack. Now I do have some complaints about some of this stuff. I would like it if it automatically had the migration scripts already ready to go and it already applied them to my database when I spun up the server. And it also tried to run my Docker image maybe on another task over here, just to spin up the Docker compose file instead of me having to go and load up a new terminal. But that's just a personal preference. Maybe um, others like the flexibility of running this stuff when they want to. But for me, when you have a new project, everything should work with a single command. npm run dev should spin up everything that you need, every dependency, whether that's a database or whatnot. And you shouldn't have to go and like manually spin this stuff up in my opinion. So I do think this thing is a work in progress. I mean, if you go to the docs, it says work in progress, do not take reference. So I think the whoever's working on this, I should probably give them credit. I don't know who's even working on this. It's an open source project. So I'm guessing there's a, a decent amount of people working on it. It looks like this is maintained by Aman Varshne. So go check out his GitHub repo if you want to, uh, I don't know, maybe he's looking for a job, reach out to him. But to build out all this seems like it's really cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how this grows over time. I think it has a lot of potential. I just know that doing something like this probably becomes so hard to maintain because like all the different combinations of libraries and frameworks and databases and, you know, this being on or this being off, it's a lot. So I'm not really sure how people create and maintain these type of tools, but you know, hats off to him for working on this. And if you can kind of get some of the stuff working better with Tanstack start, like I didn't want to have a Hano backend, um, but I wanted Drizzle and I wanted a database, but those options were not even there. So that would be my number one request is like Tanstack start should be able to spin up with everything that it needs. Um, without me having to pick a separate backend. Or maybe I just don't understand how to properly do this. Anyway, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Have a good day and happy coding.